Hello everyone, it's Pai Guru Decide and today in the Silver Bullet tutorial series we are going to learn how can we parse uh, JSON Web Tokens or JWT Tokens so or basically Base64 data using Silver Bullet so most of the times you might have received some authorization key or auth key or like CFSRF token which are actually is in uh, JWT format or basically Base64 format and we want to parse it because there's maybe some hidden data inside that okay? So we are going to learn how can we do it. Actually, it's very easy. First of all, let's check a site. Okay, this is a random site, and what it does is basically it will help us to generate a JWT or B64 data. Okay. So here you have to fill some data. Let I I want to fill anything. Let just everything be default value. If you want, you can modify anything from this fields. Okay. Once we do it, what we have to do? Uh, we will just right click, inspect. We'll go to our network and we will try to find the API which is actually generating the JWT. Okay, so we can mimic the same in our silver bullet. So everything you can modify here if you want, like manager instead of manager, you can do admin kind of thing. Once you do it or you are ready, just click on the create sign JWT. So see when you do it, you will uh, it will send a post request to the server and the server will send us a or token or basically base64 data. This data will have some uh, value, which is actually this plain text value. Okay. So what you want is you are receiving this value, and from this you want to parse uh, this. Okay. You want let's say email, surname, given name, or any other value, something like that. So how we have to do it? So first of all, what we will do, we will just uh, copy this and copy as curl bash so that we can put it in silver bullet. And I'll just type curl to curlconverter.com. Go to. I'll just paste it here. And I want it in HTTP format like we usually do. Okay. So we'll go to Silver Bullet. We'll click on a plus and just use the HTTP request block. And what we will do, we'll just copy URL here uh, from the headers. Paste it here. This is a post request as uh, mentioned in the browser. Here you can see it. Uh, we have to copy the payload. So we can copy the payload from here. So let us copy it. And paste it here. Since it's a JSON, so here for in the content type, we will just put application slash JSON. And finally, we have to put the header. So, headers we can copy from here uh, till here. Okay. We don't need the host, or if you want, you can just copy host as well. And XML HTTP request. We don't know content length and we don't want content type. So, we'll just Remove so uh, uh, a bit for now. So first, go to here custom headers, paste here, and we can remove the content type. And we don't need host as well. We are now ready to go. Okay, and let's just click on start. And if we are go good to go, we will get the uh, our JW token. So here is a token, okay? Now we have to parse it. So first, let's parse it. Parsing. And we are, since this is response source, and as you can see, this is JSON data. So we'll just go to JSON. Okay. Uh, parse. We are parsing it from source. You can just give it the name token and here you have to give the key so the key here you can see the key is token so we'll just simply paste here now if you just again run it you will get the value of a uh, token so see we are getting the token value and fortunately this is the base64 encoded okay so what we have to do is we have to convert it into plain text so how can we do it it's very easy just go to plus and here you can go to I guess utility. Mm, oops, uh, yes, conversion maybe. 
and base 64 to string here okay so base 64 to string here you have to give your uh, variable which is containing your uh, base 64 so our variable is token okay so here we'll just go to uh, type base 64 here you have to type your variable name which is storing your value you can also see here the token variable is storing this value base 64 encoded and here you can give the new variable name which is let's say decrypted token and now if you run it it should basically print the value of decrypted token as well so see here in the decrypted token we are getting uh, the plain text okay so ISS this is this this is this this is it subject is yes given name johnny uh, surname is rocket email is this manager uh, role is manager or product administrator in the end there is some unrecognizable data this is known as secret key you don't need this th thing okay so we are good to go the final thing that we are let's say we want to extract the uh, email from here so you can just simply go to parse again and here uh, you want let's say uh, email from the decrypted token so you will just copy the variable name and here since this is also json you can see the curly braces here whatever you need just type the key name we want email so we will just type email and here we have to give uh, tell from where we want the uh, value so here we don't have the option of uh, this decrypted token so what you will do you will simply first save it then go to script and here instead of source just paste your variable name okay that will be it and come back to the stacker and if you click on parse now here you will see this will be decrypted token now you can just say email here now if you run it finally you will be able to get email uh, is there some issue could not parse any data the variable was not unfortunately uh, as soon as we convert base 64 to a string this is no longer the json uh, we have to use the lr method now okay what you have to do you have to just copy it till here uh, before your actual email and paste here and up till here okay i think this should work let's try once again Uh, pass variable name email values this yes this is working uh, last time it didn't work because I thought it is uh, JSON but no uh, we have converted our base64 to string so for strings we have to use LR methods only that's it guys uh, similarly you can extract anything from this base64 uh, encoded string decoded string actually so yes this is it if you have any doubt you can ask in the comments that's it thank you see you in the next lecture